All right, what's going on, everyone? Just imagine if the whole world, this is something I was thinking about the last couple days. Just imagine if every one of us was a minimalist, that we lived a minimal lifestyle and we had just enough to get by. We kind of helped each other, you know, families helped each other when times were, you know, you didn't have enough food or something like that. And you didn't have so many people that are trying to get rich or to get wealthy or to win the lottery and all these other kinds of things. Because listen, I'm just doing a follow-up video from the other day. I want to get something clear with everybody that comes to my platform. I am not doing any of what I do to get rich. I am not doing what I am doing to be wealthy. I am not doing what I'm doing to get a mansion. I am not doing what I'm doing to have all this recognition and be a star and all this stuff. That's not why I do it. I don't even like calling myself a business person, but listen, it's really hard to explain to people these things when you're on the other side of the matter, but the only reason that I'm doing, that I will be doing the stuff with my art and other things is because I want to make a minimal living doing something that I love to do, something that I like to do, and that's all. It's not that I, you know, I know when people, right when they hear me talk about donations or uh, marketing or something that has to do with money, right away I know probably these red flags go up and you're like, oh, you're a sellout. You know, you're selling yourself out and stuff. And I, I say this even in my own head. I say to myself, I will never, ever sell myself out or sell myself short for a dollar, you know, for money. It just won't happen with me. You know, I'm not worried about the money. I am only worried about making a minimal living and that is it. I'm only worried about having a little bit of food in my fridge that I can eat. I'm only worried about having just enough rent to pay my rent so that I can have a place to sleep and I can have a place to lay my head. And I'm going to try to get a tripod here that doesn't shake so much because now I'm going to be doing videos outside again, walking because my neighbor's back. So that kind of got me a little bummed out. You know, it's nothing against him, but I was kind of hoping that there really wasn't anybody going to come over there again. It's nothing against him, but I just like having my quiet spare space to do what I want to do when I want to do it. So that's why I got dressed real quick because I got to go to the store again. But yeah, it's just from yesterday. This is basically a follow up from yesterday's video. When I say that I'm done procrastinating, I'm not saying that I'm not going to have my bad days. I'm not saying that bad stuff won't come or things won't happen in life. But the thing is, I've been letting this fear and this worry about everything just take over. And I'm going to give you an example of what it's like. Say that there's this little seed, this little tiny seed that is, that is just there and it comes out of nowhere. That's kind of how it is with me. It'll go from being this tiny little seed and then that seed will sprout just a little bit. It'll go pop, it'll pop out. 
a little bit and then it will start again I will start all of this worry all of this procrastinating all of this just thinking about all of this stuff that doesn't mean shit and it takes me off of the path of where I really want to go where I know that I'm going but it kind of stunts my where I'm walking where I want to walk in my life and of course I'm still going to talk about when I'm feeling you know shitty on here or I'm uh, having a bad day or I woke up on the wrong side of the bed I'm going to keep talking about all that stuff you know that ain't going to stop but hold on y'all I got to cross the street here real quick but uh procrastinating is a little bit different yeah procrastinating is a little bit different it's like I said it's kind of like this seed you know I woke up today and (laughs) here's the weird thing it's kind of like reverse psychology when I I didn't say this out loud I didn't I didn't say this in a video I didn't say it out loud I didn't even say it to myself I didn't say I was done procrastinating because see when I say I'm done procrastinating then my mind is saying oh well now you have to do everything that you promised to do now you have to do everything because you said you're done procrastinating Nate now you have to do everything and that's why in this video I'm actually saying I am done saying that I am done procrastinating and I'm just doing it and I'm not even I'm done saying I'm just gonna do it because then that's when the seed starts that's when this thing comes where it's like it's forcing me to do it then and I'm not doing it because I want to do it you understand you know this is all reverse psychology it's and I know don't you think I know when my videos are boring Don't you think I know that most of my videos are not interesting? But you know what? Sometimes that boring and that uninteresting aspect, we need that sometimes. And there's not enough people that will show you that they're bored. There's not enough people that will tell you that they're going through some shit there's not enough people that will tell you like look I am not doing anything that I do to get rich famous um, act like I'm a big tough guy or act like I'm the shit but I do have I do have a confidence in myself for myself And that's between me. That's between me and myself, my personal self. That has nothing to do with everyone else. And someone wrote in the comments about something. Listen, I talk about, I talk about suicide because I get to the point where I get, I let myself get really down and out I let myself get kind of depressed because I sit there and I worry and I think about everything and it's this little tiny seed that is there and it pop it sprouts and then I start playing its game and I start listening to that thing and I keep relishing on that thing and I keep letting that be the final factor of what it is that I'm doing 
and it takes me from going this way and it the I veer off the, the where I'm going where I know I'm going so that's why I said we all kind of have like two or three different personalities whether we want admit it admit it or not I think most people have more than just one personality I mean is someone like this all the time yeah let's walk let's walk yeah let's walk let's walk yeah let's walk and then they're like that all day long you know and I'm just I'm over exaggerating here but is someone always like this Finlay Street. Finlay Street. I don't care about Finlay Street. Yeah, that house over there. Mm. People ain't like that all the time. So, this whole thing is just... <laughs> I just sit and I think about these things all the time. I can't stop thinking about these aspects. But... What I'm saying here is when I, the reason, and here's another reason people might ask, well, why haven't you been posting your music? Why haven't you been posting your art? Why haven't you been doing any of the other stuff? Now, whether you're asking that or not, I'm telling myself this, but here's why I hesitate to do it before I get it out there and I have it copyrighted and I know that it's mine and if somebody takes it then I can you know make some kind of action to help somebody else from uh, you know selling my art online or making a living off of my art is because nowadays people can take your picture they can take it, put it in an editor, they can crop it, they can put it into somewhere and they can just take your photo and they can put it on all kinds of stuff and it's, they can do that. And I know I have the confidence and I'm not being cocky here when I say this to y'all, but I know that I have something different. I know that I have something that not a lot of people have because I looked all over the internet and the two types of ways that I draw and how I do my thing with the art and stuff I don't find any other people that do what I do maybe uh, like one or two people are doing what I'm doing and I'm waiting until I'm ready to do that I'm not forcing it because, you know, I'm liable to get my stuff stolen. And then all this copyright stuff, I'm not trying to go through that. But yeah, it's... I wanted to come out here and do this real quick. You know, I really don't need to explain myself. But I know there's been people that have been here for a while. And I don't want people thinking that I'm turning into some greedy business guy that is just after money and the whole reason I've been doing this channel is for money or to be a just a business person I don't see myself as a business person I see myself as another human being that I have been fortunately given the ability to be able to have a mind that can draw art and I can make music and I can talk and I can you know speak things that a lot of other people are scared to speak about and I'm not boasting I'm not bragging in that it just is what it is you know I am what I am you know um, but and then I want to get back to before I end the video here because I ain't got much battery on here but before I end the video I talk about suicide in my other videos and I talk about things like that and yes 
there are times where I feel like not going on. There's times where I get so tired of the repetitiveness of life and I just, I'm just sick and tired of everything that I do get like that. And that's why I'm doing these things to keep my mind off of that. But am I going to go hang myself or shoot myself? No, I'm not going to do it. I don't have the balls to do it anyway. And I don't condone suicide and I don't uh, endorse it either. I wouldn't tell anybody to do it. But people are going to do whatever people are going to do. I just said this in my other video. I don't have any control over what another man or woman does with their life. All that I can do is get on here and tell you how I'm living and what I'm doing and the things I'm going through and my experiences. And, you know, you got to take it for what it is, you know? It is what it is. You know, I'm not ever going to act like or be like something that I'm not. It's just not going to happen with me. And that's why I'm telling everybody, when I ask for your support, all that I'm asking for is a little bit of something just to get by. I'm a minimal guy. I live a minimalist lifestyle. Right now, I'm going to get celery, a little bit of milk, some oatmeal, <laughs> and water probably. That's all I'm getting. I'm not going and getting chicken wings and, you know, cheeseburgers and bread and potato chips and all this stuff. And, you know, listen, that's why I tell you all this, because it helps me. It helps me to be more healthy. It's helping my health. It's helping me to think more clearly. It's helping me in my life. So, of course, I'm going to say it to other people. Why would I keep it a secret? And I don't want money for those things. I do this because I want to do it. And when I say, can you please give something? That means giving me your time. You know, I'm giving you my time. All that I ask maybe in return, you don't have to do it, is I ask for your time. And that is a little donation. Or when I do put my art stuff out, if you like it, then get it, wear it. It's, it, I always wanted to do this, but that's why I'm saying it now before I do it. I don't want to like creep up on people and be like, oh, here's my product. Now buy it. Here's my t-shirts with my art. Now get it. You know, I don't want to do that. I want it to be something you have to go into these things. I, I go into things slowly. I don't just say, hey, bam, here it is. Now get it. Get it now. You know, I'm not that type of guy. I always let people make their own decisions. I always let people do it themselves. I never tell anybody to do anything they don't want to do. I never force anything. Excuse me. And I'm sorry about that. When I walk, I always get shit in my nose. I never ever force my message. I never ever tell anybody they have to do something. And that's why I'm telling you now, because that's what I'm gonna be doing. And I don't keep my life a secret. I'm not living in secrecy. I'm not um, wearing this mask and facade. I'm not you know, holding back from people. I'm letting you know here. I'm being as honest as I can be, you know? And that's how I run my channel, and that's how I will always run my channel. It will never change. You know, just because people might hear me saying something about, hey, you know, help do this and that, and maybe help give, that doesn't mean that I'm changing or I'm being something different or anything has changed. Nothing has changed. I'm still the same Nate. You know, I'm still the same SBN Resonate. And, you know, my name... My art name will probably be Resonate Art. I don't know if I'm going to put the SBN in there. I want to. That's my logo that I have on my YouTube channel. 
but it it kind of I don't know. It's not that I don't want to put it in there. I want to put SBN resonate with the SBN symbol and resonate, but resonate art just it's easier. It's more simple. It sounds a bit better for the art stuff, you know, resonate art. And then on my channel, you know, just saying real quick, I know this ain't nothing important. Nobody really cares. But for me, I do care about it because it's my channel. But the symbol that's there, I will have the SBN then resonate art. I might just make this channel resonate art because this is kind of like an art, you know, speaking to people and, you know, venting your life and doing all of this. It's kind of like an art in and of itself. That's how I see it. I see it as real life and an art. I see it as two different things. And like I said before, this thing with me, it's not about having hundreds of thousands of people. It's not about having millions of people. If I would ever get to that many people on this channel, then that would be great. But that's not what I'm worried about. I only need like for me to have a way to live a minimal lifestyle i only need probably like a hundred people that really like and enjoy and relate to what it is that i do and i can probably get by from that if they're interested in what i'm doing and who i am i don't need a ton of things that's not what i'm after that is not my motive for what i do and i don't even have a motive i'm just doing what i'm doing because i'm doing it I'm drawing because I love to draw. I'm speaking and doing these videos because I like to do them. I know it's not really about nothing. I understand most of these are fucking boring. They're boring. I don't even know if I would watch them. You know what I'm saying? So that's just me being absolutely brutally honest with y'all here. I know my shit is boring. And if I was in another circumstance, then maybe I could do something that's maybe a little more interesting but i'm not worried about that i'm only worried about being myself and doing what it is that i love doing now i can't focus on the world and what everyone else is doing i just can't do it that's why i said i'm focusing on my health i'm focusing on my art and i'm focusing on these videos if i hardly have anybody that watches or anybody that donates or likes when i put out my art it doesn't matter i'm still gonna do it because i love to do it so i just want to put that across you know it ain't that i'm forcing this on anybody i just want to put that out there real quick this is who i am i'm not gonna change nothing is gonna change the only thing that will quote change is when i get some things going that i always wanted to get going in the first place that's the only thing that's going to change and that doesn't make me a different person it's not going to make me that i'm uh now i'm becoming this greedy corporate businessman or and all these other things that's not what it means for me i am in it because i want to live a minimal lifestyle and i do it because i love to do it that's it so stay up, stay lowly. I will talk with y'all. Resonate. All right.